the Harvard Graduate School of Education, working at the nexus of practice, policy, and research. Hello, my fellow ed techers. My name is Justin Reich, and my research examines issues of excellence and equity in the use of social media in K-12 settings. Many of us ed techers share the hope that emerging technologies can be transformative in education. Moreover, many of us hope that freely available social technologies and open education resources will disproportionately benefit disadvantaged students by opening up access to curriculum, content, and learning tools once only available to students in affluent schools. Now, I share that optimistic vision, but I also have a great fear, a fear that emerging technologies will exacerbate rather than ameliorate educational inequalities. I think there's compelling evidence that schools with more human and financial resources have a greater capacity to take advantage of even free educational resources. It's very possible that if we simply drop free and open resources into the learning ecology of schools, that already advantaged students will use these tools to race ahead. Education researchers have a responsibility to objectively and honestly evaluate the impact of innovation. So as a case study, I've spent the last three years studying the use of classroom wikis in K-12 settings with a grant from the Hewlett Foundation's Open Education Resources Initiative. We've been developing new methods to measure the degree to which wikis provide opportunities for students to develop critical skills for the 21st century, skills like expert thinking, complex communication, and new media literacies. In our research, we see striking differences between wikis from schools serving different students. Wikis created in low-income schools typically persist for about six days, compared with 32 days for wikis created in other schools. More importantly, wikis created in low-income schools provide significantly fewer opportunities for students to develop critical skills for the 21st century. So what can we do to counter these trends? Technologists, designers, and researchers need to develop technology initiatives that specifically target the neediest students. For instance, right here in Boston, Tech Goes Home is a fabulous program that provides netbooks and internet connections to students, along with computer training for the entire family. The Glitch Game Testers in Atlanta have built an entire program that hires African-American male students as game testers, teaches them the AP computer science curriculum, and has an incredible placement rate, not only in getting these kids into college, but in turning them into engineering and computer science majors. Foundations like Hewlett, Gates and MacArthur need to continue their leadership role in supporting initiatives that target students who stand to benefit the most from online learning opportunities. It's an incredibly exciting time to be working in education as online learning environments and social technologies transform the way we learn and grow throughout our lives. We need to work together with a firm commitment to social justice to make sure that all students have the opportunity to benefit from these innovations. Thanks for listening. If you have any responses, tweet them out under the EdTech hashtag.